Hey y'all, nothing better for a Sunday meal than meatloaf and mashed taters, and we're doing it in the Instant Pot. To a bowl, crumple up some bread. You can also use saltine crackers or breadcrumbs. I like bread better because it seems to hold the meatloaf together better. Then add milk and soak five minutes. Add your 80-20 ground chuck, and then finely grate a sweet onion into the meat. Add Parmesan cheese, kosher salt, coarse black pepper, ketchup, watch your sister shower sauce, and an egg. Get your hands down yonder and fold this over until the ingredients are well combined. Try not to overwork the meat, otherwise your meatloaf will come out tough. Take a six inch bunt or cake pan, spray the inside with nonstick spray, place your meat loaf in the pan, packing it as tight as you can get it. Now you can cook this now, or you can do it a day ahead. If you do that, just cover with plastic wrap and throw in the fridge overnight. When you're ready to cook, spray one side of some aluminum foil, put that side down on top of your meatloaf pan and seal tightly. Poke a hole in the middle for vending steam. Add your baby white taters to the Instant Pot. Now the Instant Pot comes with this trivet here. If you use this, leave the handles down. I like this one here. I got this off Amazon. It's great. It's got long handles. Makes it easier to pull that food out when it's done cooking. Add your beef or chicken stock. Close up your Instant Pot. And then set that switch on top of the lid to the seal position. Press pressure cook. Then use the plus button to go up to the desired cooking time of 35 minutes. When you press start, the pot will start to preheat. That takes about 10 minutes. After that, your countdown clock will begin to count down to zero. When your cooking time has hit zero, do nothing. Let the pot naturally release for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, make your glaze. Add ketchup and barbecue sauce to a bowl, along with watch your sister shower sauce, yellow mustard, and brown sugar. And then just give that a mix. When your natural release time has struck 10 minutes, then you can move the switch on top of the lid to the vent position and wait for the remaining pressure to release. You're waiting for that pin to drop before you take that lid off. When it drops, you can safely remove the lid, remove your meatloaf, and put to a full-lined baking sheet. Cover in your glaze, and we want to put this in the oven 400 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes for that sauce to caramelize. In the meantime, add butter to your taters, along with some salt, pepper, and any other seasonings that you like. Take a tater masher, mash your taters to your desired consistency. When your meatloaf is done, let it rest about 10 minutes, garnish with parsley, slice, serve, and enjoy a truly delicious meal. Thanks so much for stopping by. Leave a comment. I'll answer every one of you. Till next time. Bye-bye, y'all.